Rajasthan Tourism and Indian Railways have set into place a luxury train that brings together the past and the present. While the nostalgic past is all pervasive through the stately decor of the train, it has at the same time all the modern amenities that live up to royal lifestyles. The train is literally a moving palace. Thus, it has been christened the Palace on Wheels. The Palace on Wheels comprises 14 fully air-conditioned deluxe saloons with world-class facilities to enhance traveling pleasure. A journey by this train could be one of your most memorable experiences. The Palace on Wheels starts its journey at the Safdarjang station at New Delhi, where the guests are given a warm Rajasthani welcome. The journey lasts for seven nights and eight days. It covers some of the most exotic places in Rajasthan and Agra, making you feel like a Maharaja all the time. The lavish dinner keeps your spirits high. There are two beautiful restaurants, Maharaja and Maharani. The first halt of the train is Jaipur, the pink city. It was founded by Maharaja Savai Jaisin II in 1727 AD. The guests are taken around the city for sightseeing. The famed Hava Mahal is an architectural marvel with five stories and honeycomb shaped openings. The mighty Amer Fort leaves a lingering impression in the minds of the guests. Elephant rides add to the joy of the visit. As the elephants ascend the slope, your imperial self comes alive. The construction of the fort was started by Man Singh I and completed by Jai Singh I. A beautiful array of designs fills up the interiors of the fort. The intricacies of the work hold the visitors spellbound. Be pampered like a royal master. Enjoy a lavish lunch at a five-star hotel. Rajasthani jewelry is irresistible. Shopping could be an enjoyable experience. The city palace, the home of the erstwhile royal family of Jaipur, holds a lot of charm for the visitors. The ostentatious lifestyles of the rulers could be gauged from the artworks and exhibits of the palace. Interestingly, the royal family still lives in a part of the palace. Interested in traditional Indian astronomy? Well, here you are at the Jantar Mantar. The largest Indian observatory of its time, built by Savai Jaising II. Back in the train after a long day, the guests enjoy the royal comforts, food and drinks. A well-stocked bar in the train serves wine, liquor and spirits of Indian and international make. <laughs> the day at Savai Madhupur begins much before dawn with a visit to the Ranthambore National Park. 
It is one of the best Indian locations for sighting and photographing the animals and birds in their natural habitats. The park is home to more than 300 species of birds. Ranthambore is also the domain of the Lord of the Woods, the tiger. prettiest experience to have seen a real tiger walking by in front of you. The same day the palace on wheels takes the guests to Chittorgarh, a city steeped in images of battles, bravery and romance. A sense of awe fills one's mind as one enters the Chittorgarh fort. Vijay's thumb. The Victory Tower was built by Rana Kumbha in 1440 AD. It is one of the prime attractions of Chittor and commemorates his victory over the neighboring kingdoms. Enjoy the comforts of the train again. It's time now to head towards Udaipur. The next morning, as you enjoy a lovely breakfast, the palace on wheels approaches Udaipur, the city of lakes, palaces and gardens. The lake palace or Jagniva stands in the turquoise waters of Lake Pichola. A stroll through the Sahelion Kibari reminds you of the pastimes of the royal ladies of the court. The largest palace complex of Rajasthan is the city palace. Built in granite and marble and surrounded by crenellated fort walls, the palace stands on a crest overlooking the Pichola Lake. Fateh Prakash Palace, an imposing structure housed in the city palace, recreates royal traditions. The guests of the Palace on Wheels enjoy an exclusive lunch at the Royal Banquet Hall. In the heart of the Thar, the Great Indian Desert, Famous for its exotic sand dunes lies Jaisalmer, the next halt of the palace on wheels. Rao Jaisal founded the city in 1156 AD. The Golden Fortress is a magnificent structure made of yellow sandstone. The curved projections of the fortress stretch your aesthetic pleasure to the limits. The intricate latticed havelis with their grand facades and stone carvings indicate the skillfulness of the artisans of the bygone eras. Past were. Sand dunes are expressions of nature's rhythm on sand. The excitement of camel rides on the famed Sam Sand Dunes give rise to indescribable joy. Seeping one's emotions in the sunset at the dunes could purge one to freshness. The Mehran Gartha during his reign built the Taj Mahal. 